been doing a heck of a lot of work in MDVA and MJ trying to defend the house against this invader in Leon's Bowser. Yeah, we have seen Bowser go on a tear earlier tonight. I mean, MJ uh, definitely contender. Rob has a lot of fun jank. I believe I believe that he'll be able to keep Bowser off stage pretty well with that disadvantage factor. You know, you got lasers, you got gyros. But both these guys are also pretty heavy as well, so it's a contest to see who can kill who first. It's very true, though. I, I do believe that what's going to be difficult here is that MJ is a character, or excuse me, MJ is a player that definitely seems to like rely on getting those big strings. He very much doesn't like to play neutral sometimes. But uh, Bowser, kind of the same thing. But his Jake, I think, a little bit stronger than Rob's on stage. As we're seeing right now, already MJ basically at 100% deficit, and that should do it. Oh, no, Ooh, he yeah. didn't get the platform. Very yeah, smart nice. there. That tug of war, you know, favoring MJ there. And as you say that MJ likes getting strings, it's very fortunate that he's against someone like Bowser, a big old heavy hitbox that he can just kind of slap around for a good couple percentage. But right now, he's not even getting the opportunity to do so. It seems like he really wants to, like, rely on this neutral air option. Well, he's, he's landing with it a ton, and it is just not working out at all. Leon has done a very good job parrying it or up being out of shield. Let's see, though, yeah, not finding it just yet, but that will do the trick. You are not living after that one, I'm sorry to say. No, sir. Got the platform, got the kill. That's all it takes. Yeah, let's see, though. Again, you do not want to touch this man's shield because you will get Whirling Fortress. That is the name of the game here, and we saw that last set when he had to fight Names Fox. Like, he was just getting Whirling Fortress nonstop. That up he had a shield is potent. Very true. He's doing a good job using that gyro, though. It's a tool that um, I think is going to play a key role in this matchup. If you can keep MJ away, and then go ahead and go after him with those down tilt strings, you're going to be able to actually box Bowser without too much difficulty. Not... Yeah. Oh, very good. No yeah, match. the mix-up. Very smart. The awareness by Leon to understand that, you know, he, he got it the first time, so let's mix it up the second time to see what happens, because Bowser's at that percentage now where something like up air or up smash can kill off that down throw. Very true. Sometimes you just give the top players a little bit too much respect. It's like, you're not going to do dumb things. Oh, wait. Damn. <laughs> oh, going oh, as deep a, yeah. as possible. Speaking of dumb things, Leon makes that trade, which is honestly I'll pretty smart. It, yeah. yeah, 150 percent with Bowser. That stock was hanging by a thread. Might as well go out and claim what is yours. Yeah, he finished his plate and then smashed his own and said, "Give me a new one." <laughs> More. Yeah. I mean, Bowser's a big guy. He can eat. Yes, sir. All right, neutral B gonna rack up a ton of percent. MJ wisely DIing away and then jumping out of it. A lot of things that I see some players do that they don't like have the familiarity against Bowser is that they don't recognize that the last bit of that flame breath does not have a hitbox on it. So you can just kind of walk out of it. So they just stay in it a little bit too long. That move already does enough damage. Yeah, it does way too much damage. You don't need to help the Bowser mains. You can see that right now. It is, uh, look, we can struggle with this. All that free percentage for Leon from that. And then you can see that. All right, let's see. Well, if he, I want to see if he does it again once Leon's there at stage. No, actually, Ops did just run off back air and no tech from MJ not expecting it, and that's a game. No, I don't think he could attack. That very much looked like an attackable right there. That back air is incredibly strong, and when you're at triple digits, I do not know if you're going to have the ability to react to it. It seems as though MJ was trying to do, like, the standard Rob shenanigans. Just go off stage and up air a couple times, use that gas as much as you need to to force the opponent off edge that you can get back to stage a little bit easier. You cannot do that against Bowser's back air. That man will slap you up if you're at that percent. Yeah, so I want to see in this game, too, if Leon does it again. But he, you see that he just shields at ledge mm -hmm. when MJ's trying to recover. And ba almost every single option that MJ does will just be covered by up out of shield. True. Roll, get up attack, normal get up. Like right there. Like, like yeah, you he's said. He's just waiting. He's forcing MJ to go high because MJ doesn't trust the fact that he can just, like, get up for free. Yeah, and now we see some execution in the fun combos that MJ likes to string out, getting himself some percentage on the board, but it's not going to take long for the King of the Koopas to even up that percentage. Forward air forces MJ to edge again, and just the ledge pressure game here from Leon is phenomenal. That spot dodge into immediate up B, that'll force MJ back yet again. And now he's got the gyro, so it's no longer yeah. your toy. This is mine. Yeah, the up B, uh, the, uh, the spot dodge up B is just so crazy. I mean, I mean, we've seen me do it a million times. He's yeah. stealing my bit. <laughs> Spot dodge canceling is a heck of a thing uh, here. Works not just with normal attacks, but with specials too. Yeah, it's so. one hell of a drug, kids. Don't do it. Once you do it, you're hooked. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, once I started doing it, I couldn't stop. Just like Bowser can't stop getting these Bowser bombs. That command grab is so deadly. A very quick option there. The real problem is that it's kind of a move that you have to sell out on. So it shows that Leon really does know exactly what to do any single time you touch his shield. It's just a mastery of the character. You can see that the hours and hours he's poured in has paid off because he's not giving MJ a lot of chance to play the game for himself. Hold shield and yeah, yeah punish with just, an option. He's recognizing that MJ like just wants to actually throw out hitboxes. And in this matchup against this player, it doesn't appear as though he can actively do that safely. Yeah, he's actively not selling anything right now because yeah, you're just gonna get hit over and over if you go a little bit too too crazy. This is just rinse and repeat. MJ touches 
Okay. MJ touches the ground for a split second, gets that up smash, and that'll do the stock. Oh, right that was there. that was prime content right there. That is, you love to see yeah. it. Rob's pri Bowser's priming up for it and just gets destroyed. Yeah, don't you sit on me. All right, Gyro coming out. A little I'm bit of pressure. Grab that. Like, that's one thing that a lot of Robs will do is that they'll fire the gyro into the stage and then grab it so that they can get up with a jump and then Z-drop the gyro to try to get back safely. Yeah, that might be something that MJ might want to put in his arsenal because right now it's very hard for him to land or get around Leon holding shield. True, and you saw MJ do a lot of fancy stuff there. He, he basically, like, B-reverse canceled the gyro charge. That's really nice, but if, if Leon just touches shield or holds it, just be like, what, what are you going to do? You're still going to hit a button eventually. I know this. I have an upbeat. Oh, that, okay. He's trying to get something fancy for this last stock, and I think he's found it. The up smash whiffed, and then the immediate back air follow up. Oh Leon hitting buttons out here. Just a zone of death around King Koopa. How do you get down? That wasn't the answer, MJ. The answer is you don't. Pick a god and pray. <laughs> Pick a god? Palutena, how about a goddess? Yeah, I Bowser mean, Palu is actually kind of hopeless for Bowser because Palu can actually touch that man's shield. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Palu is not the religion that MJ's following. He prefers nope. to stick to the retro stuff like Rob. Yeah, he's going for them tech gods here, but there's a reason why Rob ain't left the closet since 1994. This toy might be obsolete unless this man has something special in his back pocket in Game 3. Let's see though. How are you gonna get off ledge? I mean, this has been this has been the whole set. Is how are you getting off of ledge, MJ? And he's really been struggling with it. And he likes to fight too. from the corner, but it's just not working out for him because when you're in the corner, you're one hit away from ledge. You can see though, even at the disadvantage state, that Leon is not really staying in it for long. It's very often strike hits and then reconnecting to neutral. But when Leon finds that advantage, when Leon puts MJ on the ledge, he just hits him with things like Rolling Fortress, and you do not get a chance to win. No, it just, it's rinse and repeat every single time here. MJ is a player who's usually very good. He's wily with his defensive options, but it's just not working out for him today. Yeah, I think he needs, I think he needs more tricks. Maybe he needs to talk to Dr. Wily. I mean... Yeah, the, gotta get that upgrade. Yeah, get, get some Robot Master juice in you. Let's see what fun stuff Ooh, you can pull that out. That was a nice one right there. Yeah. The Z-drop gyro tricks, and then he oh, does it again. again. Just so nice. He does it twice, but still can't get the kill. Bowser strong enough to survive two up smashes from Rob. Yeah, now the tricky gyro stuff is coming in, and you are not getting back from that one. MJ now taking the lead in this game three. I think he took his jump. Like That's that's so unfortunate right there. Uh, uh, Leon was in a spot where the only thing he could do is jump and then up B. And uh, yeah, very good awareness by MJ there. So this yeah. is the first lead he's had this set, really. And you can see that he also backed off after that because he, he knew that maybe Leon would try to pressure or something like that down air, and so he lived in. He's starting to mix up his options a lot better with these Z-drops. It's, 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 I don't want to say it's throwing Leon off, but it's definitely making it so that he can no longer just sit in shield and do absolutely nothing. Gyro at your feet can sometimes shield poke. Yeah, and Koopa claws at your chassis, I guess. Rob doesn't have feet. Yeah, you I was going to say chest, but... Uh, yeah, case of point, you die, unfortunately. And then he just rolls in. Ah, it's so unfortunate. If he just kept backing off like that, I feel like he could have gotten Leon to approach. But Leon's recognizing that MJ wants to go, and he's not playing a very passive Rob. So if, if you're going to let Bowser camp you, I mean, he'll take that every day. Normally, this is the man that has to run in against a barrage of projectiles. Yeah, and you can see that Bowser's actually deceptively fast. He might be a big boy, but uh, when he's running, he, he has the momentum. Oh, yeah, Koopa King, he's pretty good in the 40. Is He is a quick Koopa. No oh. match mix-up not working out for him there. That up smash will take it out of the berry. But 88%, he just sits there oh. in invul, <laughs> but gets tricked up by the gyro. Good placement there by MJ, but he's back at ledge now. What is the option to get back? Expending all of his gas, and good air dodge to dodge that forward tilt. And Usually. you can see that he held back there. When, when charging up that nair, he was like, I, I need to stop pressing the forward button, and it worked for him. Recognition. Yeah, that's going to be the name of the game in this matchup because right now he's getting close to and, you know, putting Leon in this dangerous situation last stock. But as I say that, Leon puts MJ on the last stock of his own, maybe trying to secure that 3-0. So Leon's done that twice now where MJ fires a gyro and then jumps and gets forward aired for his troubles. He's got to recognize that his options are getting a little bit too predictable here. That's a habit that perhaps Leon has picked up on. 45% here. We're not at kill percent quite yet, but... Uh, Oh, that little splash hitbox there, saving Leon, perhaps, as MJ could definitely have had a charge smash attack already after that aggressive down air. Yeah, now he's getting the grab. He's now has MJ in the corner, not where you want to see him. Tries to go for something cheeky. And no yeah, tech. no techs. He, he knew that MJ previously didn't hit those techs before, getting stage spikes. So, hey, it worked once. Let's see if it can happen again. It's a skill check. Do you have this or not? Unfortunately, MJ is going to go ahead and 